So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and create those events that we need for scoring and respawning of our pickup. And let's also finish up on the respawning of our pickup. Let's go ahead and open up the event manager. Make this a little bit bigger and head over to event manager. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my delegates. Do I have any here that automatically fit what I need for the score? And we do have one for here and we already have the event set up for on score points. I'm not sure where I'm using that already in the game, but it doesn't matter because all we want to do is just listen to that event. And it's set up the way I want it. It passes in an int. Now I also want one to respawn the pickup when it disappears. And we don't need to pass anything in for that. And that's great because we've already got a delegate for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy one of these. Go ahead, put it in and just change the name. On, respawn, pickup. I'll go ahead, save that off. And I'll just copy one of these again. And I'm going to say spawn pickup. And we'll use the on spawn pickup. If it does not equal null, then we'll go ahead and call on spawn pickup. Oh, sorry, on respawn pickup. Change this here. Respawn pickup. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead, save that off. Then we can come into pickups. And we're going to add the on enable and on disable. And I'm going to put that right above the start. So void on enable. And we'll do this one first. So event manager. Oh, I'm sorry. We don't have to listen here. We just have to broadcast. My bad. So here we go. Here's where we get hit. We can say event manager dot. And let's do score points first. And we know that we have the right one, the F for the method. And it takes an int. And did I call it points or something like that? Uh, points, yeah. So let's go ahead and we'll pass that in. Then we also want to call event manager dot respawn pickup. Then we want to go ahead and destroy ourselves. Now I do not see a need to add a delay, but with the way that I have my ship set up with the compound colliders, I can actually trigger this off more than once as we've seen through the demo. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create one pool up here. It just has to be private. So I'll put it right above here and I'm just going to say got hit. By default, I'm going to start that off as false. And I'm just going to put it up here where I initialize it. Then what I want to do is come down here and when we get hit, I'm going to check to see if what we got hit by was the player. If we have not been hit so far, and I actually want to change that to being hit. So we've not been hit before. We're going to go ahead, switch got hit to equal true. Then call the pickup. That way there, it doesn't get called multiple times. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it to got hit. Being hit, I think is a better name. But anyway, maybe I just like saying bean. <laughs> okay, so we go ahead, we're gonna debug, we got hit. Uh, we're gonna call the respawn, then we're gonna destroy ourselves. So that should be everything we need here. And I'm gonna come into the asteroid manager. And now we're gonna have to listen in here for the respawn. But before that, I want to go ahead and see where I'm going to be calling that. And I think I call it place pickup. Right here. So we go ahead, we get one of the asteroids at random from the asteroid list. We go ahead and instantiate it at that point. Uh, we go ahead, we destroy the asteroid and remove it from the list. So yeah, that seems like a perfect place to do it to me. Let's go ahead and add the event stuff. So event manager dot on respawn pickup plus equals and then we'll go ahead we'll add this method uh, pick uh, the place pickup let's come down here and we want to make sure we stop listening we'll go ahead we'll save that off and that should actually be good let's go in see if we got any errors and more importantly let's see how it works so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of the one we already have in there I'm also going to go ahead and make it bigger. I've been meaning to do this for a while. So I'll grab the pickup and I want to make it at least a four so it's a little bit easier to hit. Save my scene. I'm not sure why I have collaboration. I'm not collaborating with anyone. I'll go turn it off later in services. So let's go ahead. We'll try this out. Oh, wait. I want to disable my enemies just to give me a better chance of actually getting to it. And let's go ahead. And check it out. So 
I can see it. There we go. I hit it. Uh, we got to get the score working. Let's get that hooked up. Everything got so. Let's take a look here. So we hit it, destroyed it. Player hit us. That, that's when it was put in the first one, and it destroyed the second one. I should put a message in there for when it respawns the second one. Uh, of course, we got to find it now. There it is. Man, this is going to be so hard. So there we go. We hit it and spawned another. Great. Let's get the scoring hooked up, and let's also go ahead while we're here. And let's brighten this up. I can't see it. There's a lot of stuff like that. We've already gone over it. I assume you actually uh, have done this in the background already. I'm just going to go ahead and make them white. I guess I should grab them all at the same time. There we go. Now we can actually see. So the score. I just want to take a quick look here at the scripts. We do have a score script, so let's go ahead. We'll open that up. And we are listening to add score. I'm sorry, we're listening to on score points. We're calling add score, so it should work. So we're adding to the score, and the problem is that we're not calling the update to the display. And we'll just call display score. There we go. Now let's go ahead and we'll try this out. We still have to get it into where we can shoot it too from afar. <laughs> Find it first. Oh, there it is, way up there. Wow. Uh, the size is good. I like the size, though. So four is good for me. So we got it. We went ahead. We hit it. We got 100 points. I've got to see what we started off with as points, too. And... <laughs> I clipped that one asteroid. It didn't do anything. Apparently, I don't have the colliders on it. Big enough. But anyway, there we go. We've got it scoring. Now, I want to try it one more time. So we do start off at zero. Uh, we've got it scoring. We've got the events in place. Um, let's we'll work on the rest of the scoring for the high score in the next video. And then we'll go ahead and set it up so we can shoot it. And we should be done. There's a ton of tweaking that needs to be done for the game, but... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it didn't die. Where is it? Where is it? But anyway, there's a ton of tweaking left to do to the game, but I assume you've been doing that along the way. I'd like to see what you guys have done so far. So if you've got a web player built or maybe even just a video on YouTube, go ahead, post it down below. And everyone can see what everyone else is doing. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears.